Good afternoon, everyone. It's the end of the working day on Friday, March 20. And this is Pastor Tom from Christ Lutheran Church coming to you from my semi-self-quarantine of our church office. How you all doing? I don't have all the fancy equipment, but I want to give you a word of encouragement from God's Word. As I talk to our older parishioners, I've been on the phone this afternoon trying to visit with somebody. I can't make any calls. But I wanted to give, a, a, as I, we reflect We've been reflecting on the uniqueness of these circumstances. Not only does no one remember, but of the people that I talked to, no one who was alive has experienced this, and they're right. And the fear is growing as fast as the positive cases of the virus, especially if you're watching the news, which most of us are glued to the news all the time. So before you sit down to watch the evening news... I wanted to listen to, I wanted to give you a, a, a good word from God, a good piece of God's word. We do have comfort, do we not, from God's word? David says in Psalm 46, and it says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though its mountains shake with its swelling, and it just goes on and on. But we've read these verses our entire lives, haven't we? Are they true? Therefore we will not, be, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed. We do have comfort from God's word. God is the God of the earth. He is the God of the heavens. The Old Testament words are Shemayim and Eretz. The, uh, the, the, the newspaper in Jerusalem or in Israel is called Ha-Eretz, the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Ha-Eretz. Or in the New Testament, the Greek words are Uranos and G. The words heaven and earth occur together all throughout the Bible. God is the God of the heavens and the earth. So let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your power and your glory. We thank you that you are in control. This is your world, and we ask for your protection and guidance. Be with the healthcare workers and known as those in authority and, and to make good decisions, thinking of our government and the health services and, and all of these people. And be with those that are traveling right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is a great opportunity to surrender your heart to him right now. No more running. He is waiting with open arms. And this is his, his hand is the one hand that you can shake right now without worrying about any contamination. Do it now. I want to invite you to join us on our YouTube on Sunday morning for our live stream at 10.15 a.m. Might be more of an empty church than I'd hoped for. You can go there right now to review some of our past messages that are saved on the channel. Most of my sermons have no views, so go give them a listen. You know what to do. Click, click subscribe when you're there, and you can be notified, and, and the bell, and you can be notified of every video that comes out. Pastor Tom out.